is the most neglected as politicians and policy makers are busy scoring their political points farmer leaders attempt to raise the uncomfortable questions ignored by other media houses as we believe that healthcare is the key to the national development and india cannot be a mute spectator where policy reforms in healthcare has taken a backstage over political issues we need reforms we don't need false promises the nation needs affordable medicines with quality care and not empty and unreasonable claims india needs enough doctors working public health care centers nurses and a robust policy not just unrealistic and populist measures we are sick of this ladies and gentlemen farmer leaders believe that while the industry today is at loggerheads with the government and various statutory authorities including the regulators such as the drug administration market watchdog sebi and a host of other organizations there is a lack of meaningful dialogue and interaction between the industry and the government leading to the bigger uncertainty of the overseas players coming to india with a basket of products and investments in the absence of a weak law and virtual policy paralysis the issue of pricing is the biggest factor leading to the discontentment of the pharma companies the unavailability of medicines seen across the country is the major challenge as well as the declining research and drug discovery clinical trials are seen as major deterrents the pharma leaders platform therefore attempts to build these crucial gaps of trust deficit and infuse the sense of confidence of the country's drug makers policy makers and the government pharma leaders is an independent media that aims to ventilate the views of the common man through its magazine and digital version pharma leaders is india's first opinion based and research driven healthcare communication media and has a decade of relentless reporting in pharma journalism in an unbiased fearless and independent way over the last one decade pharma leaders have covered some of the biggest voices in the healthcare industry announcing the nomination categories of pharma leaders business leadership awards 2013 satya bhama indian pharma industry is one of the robust sector and i can i, I can proudly tell you while i have covered more than 1000 ceos of the pharmaceutical companies chairman and editor in chief of pharma leaders said pharma leaders attempt is to bring out the best of the companies and individuals who have been performing under tough conditions following global economic slowdown pricing policy of the drugs regulatory strict vigilance and a host of other healthcare issues while every care is taken to include the best companies based on their performances pharma leaders do not make a mixed set of rules as per ranking big or small in size and revenues it is innovations and trend setting that are the mantras of selection ladies and gentlemen incredible pharma leaders 2013 pushing india's growth agenda is the theme at the historic edition of the 6th annual pharmaceutical leadership summit and pharma leaders business leadership awards 2013 entering in its 6th year the much anticipated and awaited prestigious title is attempting to revisit the current state of affairs and the pressure of building brands and most importantly maintaining a sustainable growth record in an era where government's policy making machine making it a difficult task to the thinking process and the strategies to retain market dominance as farmer leaders is discussing today the key issues that is grappling the industry both domestic and international markets have been witnessing a change of approach the price war us fda vigilance fdi and generics are the key drivers that will determine the winning combinations indian pharmaceutical rather healthcare landscape has drastically changed paving the way for fresh and challenging pressures 
to the farmer leaders. The incredible journey of the farmer leaders, though marked by many ups and downs, the global healthcare industry are certainly not ignoring the meteoric rise of Indian farmer leaders. Farmer leaders believe that the real challenges of the farmer leaders in the present context are multi-dimensional, though the bigger issues grappling the minds of the leaders are increasing pressure from regulators, FDI, clinical trials, and of course, the pricing. Originally launched in 1999 as the Pharma Business and Technology Excellence Awards, the Excellence Awards were first produced for the first time in India by the Pharma Business and Technology magazine as a means of honoring innovation in pharmaceutical marketing, corporate governance and research and development and lifetime achievements category. Pharma Excellence Awards were produced by Pharma Business and Technology Magazine Awards in India and expanded to recognize global corporate citizenship and individual achievements. Over the last one decade, Pharmaceutical Business Leadership Awards 2013 has been re-evaluated and recast to focus more on business scientific accomplishments in the biotech industry with a significant thrust in academic pharmaceutical research. The set of awards have been presented since the last one decade at a sold-out gala to over 500 industry executives and the leading academic scientists from around the world. Each award or nomination is being screened by the board members of Pharma Leaders Group consisting of the five-member team and then further approved by Network 7 Media Group juries consisting of eminent members of the healthcare community. After thorough screening, the names of five nominees emerge out and are thrown out to public by email voting, then SMS voting followed by the final verdict of the jury members. The Pharma Leaders Awards demonstrates how companies can, through their core business activities, help achieve excellence in innovations. The 2013 award nominations has been given explicitly to companies delivering inclusive business models which are sustainable, commercially viable business initiatives that expand access for low-income people to goods and services or improve their livelihoods by engagement in value chains as direct employees, suppliers or distributors while also generating sales and profit growth. By bringing together examples of innovative, effective business practices, the 6th Annual Pharmaceutical Leadership Awards will also provide leading businesses and entrepreneurs with a valuable platform for networking and sharing experiences and promote best practices. This will encourage other businesses and governments to replicate and scale initiatives. In 2012, the award categories received an unprecedented 1,172 nominations representing a variety of business and commercial endeavors undertaken by business associations, non-governmental organizations and individual companies from more than nine countries with a sample size of 5,56,674 voters spread across 21 states and four industry verticals via online, SMS and physical interviews. Past award winners have shown how companies can help boost sustainable growth and development and they can be a tremendous source of innovative and sustainable solutions which help transform people's lives for the better. These nomination categories has been highlighting the critical role of the private sector in stimulating sustainable economic growth and development. A detailed analysis of career graph or history or notable achievement is looked at to get the final five names, such as the financial management, decision-making roles and business impact, business ethics, managing rapid growth, innovation, adapting to change, strategic partnerships, leadership roles, marketing strategies, corporate philanthropy to society. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The journey that farmer leaders undertook till date has been marked by many momentous, outstanding and long-standing occasions. Each year we hosted the farmer leaders program. We only meant to salute the visionary leaders. Small or big in size or in financial numbers, we had a clear agenda that we are not going to follow the routine and stereotype award nomination mechanism where they are only selected companies, personalities who are constantly in the limelight. Farmer leaders broke the rule book and made an exception. We looked at people who are working behind the scene and never wanted any media glare nor any publicity. Our research team took a gigantic task of uncovering the unsung farmer leaders who have been spectacular in their own sphere, be it in healthcare, clinical trials, manufacturing or marketing. I think to my mind what India needs today is a change of leadership. And that can only happen only when there is a change of mindset, there is a change of attitude, there is a change of entire notions of what they possible about India. Our quest of crowning the farmer leaders are twofold. Those who imbibed innovation with risk-taking abilities to break the rule and make an exception, to show the world that they exist in their own world, in their own way, demonstrable leadership and critically acclaimed leadership. We were never tired. We continued to mix existing bigwigs with the companies and individuals relatively unknown and made them king. We looked at sheer passion, excitement and a sense of pride each time we crowned a farmer leader in the platform after a rigorous voting methodology. The farmer leaders have been tested and were thrown to the various stakeholders to vote before being crowned. We even stunned some big names when the unsung farmer leaders were crowned against the might of big wigs. Farmer leaders believed in the spark of innovation year after year as we continued our quest for celebrating the ultimate farmer leaders experience since 1999. We were the earliest media houses to recognize the talents and created farmer leaders platform that were imitated by many and Farmer Leaders Awards became the trendsetters. We are happy today when we notice the rise of companies in healthcare to honor the achievers. In the early stage of our momentous journey, we recognize the veterans and legends who are now no more, but our spirit of leadership are still reverberating in the reception of companies. The late Dr. Parvinder Singh of Rand Baxi who built India's first MNC, Dr. Anji Reddy of Dr. Reddy's Labs, Mr. Indravadan A. Modi of Kadilla, Mr. Jagdish Saxena of Elder Pharmaceuticals or the former Drug Controller General of India, DCGI. Dr. M. Venkateswarlu are the few notable names. The current thespian legendary farmer leaders who are responsible for building the India image like Dr. Yusuf K. Hamid of Sipla, Dr. Habil Kurakiwala of Workhart, Mr. Sampradha Singh of Alchem Laboratories, Dr. D.B. Gupta of Lupin, or Mr. Suresh Kare of Indico Remedies are in the list of Farmer Leaders Winners Library. Farmer Leaders has felicitated and recognized more than 500 companies and has created world-class platforms in the form of Summit. industry and it is a proud moment for you for me to host the sixth edition of pharma summit when i notice that there is a noticeable change in the approach of the healthcare industry in india 
this is the sixth edition of pharma industry and the theme that i have conceived for this particular summit is pharma leaders billion dreams and taking india's growth agenda to the next step the fundamental objective that drove me to make this summit and bring these leaders in this platform is not the same that i hosted in the last year which was ending in a very good note obviously the pharmaceutical industry in india is not in a happy state of mind for the last 3 to 4 months when i have been interacting with various ceos and managing directors of the company they are of the opinion that they are not very happy the way they are taking it forward some of the people have even expressed their views that they don't feel like coming to the office and doing the regular business this is the reason where the real industry is coming to a halt actually the problem is coming from the nppa pricing there is a problem from the ministry of chemical and fertilizer there is a problem from ministry of commerce there is a problem from ministry of finance no one is anonymous in its views and there are lots of problems happening in the pharmaceutical industry and government is clueless what they should do to my mind the pharmaceutical industry is doing a stupendous job in terms of bringing out new molecules and research driven products but unfortunately in india instead of giving concentration to this sensitive industry of the indian pharma industry which is ranked fourth in in, in the world and we have around 264 to 265 us fda accreditation in india the indian pharma industry is not being taken seriously by the us fda and i can tell you as an editor and chief of pharma leaders that there is a hidden agenda of us food and drug administration that indian pharmaceutical industry they are not promoting they are finding the loop holes without seeing the real reasons of it i have visited lot of the state of art manufacturing facilities of the indian pharma companies but i find there are no single faults there except the minute faults but they know that india is coming out as a bigger superpower in the coming years now and they want to curb this kind of innovations and growth and they want to suppress that pharma industry should not grow that much and india's rising powers as a superpower has actually scared them that is the reason why the industry's growth is not happening and coupled with that there is a there is a fdi issues which is grappling the industry post the take over of rembex is it i don't find anything wrong that foreign direct investment should come into india in fact it should bolster the current indian companies who are struggling who are fighting with bringing the revenues research and development look at where the percentage is now it has come down to around 3.1% now except a few companies like gladmark and lupin and others which are also facing a lot of problems from the supreme court of india the recent verdict by the supreme court of india to curb that clinical trial should be banned is actually a big taboo and they feel that the clinical trial which is conducted in india is not in line with the accreditation which they are having but i don't find there is a substantial evidence in bringing out this thing i do admit that there are certain companies where the clinical trials where it is being conducted there has been a questionable mark in terms of investigators in terms of the number of sampling they are taking it in terms of various other methodologies they adopt but overall to my mind 80 to 90% companies who are into the cros or the clinical research organizations they are doing a stupendous jobs in the industry and they should in fact be promoted we have taken a journey from 1947 till date and we have seen a meteoric meteoric rise of the indian pharma company in the early 60s and 70s mncs were reeling in india and now in the present state of uh, uh, the status now where the domestic companies have overtaken the mncs but to my mind there is no difference between the mncs and the indian pharma company ultimately what is mat- what matters to me is the innovation and is the kind of product they bring to us that is what it is going to be the driving force of the industry the major deterrent that indian pharma industry is also facing is that none of the associations look at idma look at oppi look at ipa look at bdma these are the 